Hi everyone, this is THN coming to you with a new challenge for today. Okay, so today I'm just going to show you one of the challenges that I received uh, from our client wherein I had to capture the attendance from a Teams meeting. So a Teams meeting, uh, this was a departmental meeting which was attended by hundreds of users. Uh, so it was uh, like, like the client really wanted to know who attended the meeting 10 minutes late, who came in early and what is the percentage of duration of the meeting the person attended, you know, things like that. So uh, this is the data that actually comes in when you download the uh, records fr uh, from the team's meeting. Only, who, uh, only the organizer of the team's meeting is able to download this. If you're the organizer, you can easily go ahead and download it. If you want me to show you how to do that, then comment below and I will let you know uh, how that is done in my next video. Okay, so right now let's focus on uh, how we can get uh, how I have been able to get this done. It's very simple. You just click on this button here, and everything is just tuck, 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 done. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have the full name, user action, and timestamp. This is actual raw data that comes in from the Teams uh, download. All right, and they are. Uh, yeah, I made some sheets over here. Left, joined, uh, joined before, and joined. The reason being is if you just filter the records, okay. And if you see here, we have joined, joined before, and left. I'm just going to show you joined, okay. If you see joined, this per this person Elizabeth, she has joined the meeting like twice, okay. But all at different timings. One is at four six, and one is at four twelve, and. If I show you, there are several records for Elizabeth. If you see here, okay, so she has joined before, she has joined, and she has left. What does that mean? So, join before basically means that she has joined before the meeting starts. So, the meeting starts at 3 30 and she joined before at 3 28. So, join before means she has, she has joined before the start of the meeting and left. We see left. Let me just highlight the others a bit only. Okay, left, uh, she left at 4 5. And here, if you see left, she left at 4 11 again. And here, if you see left, she left at 4 56 again. So, why are there like multi multiple records? Well, we're not in a real meeting, right? We're in a virtual meeting. And our internet connection sometimes can easily disconnect us. I'm sure all of you must have faced this a um, couple of times during your meetings where the internet connection is very bad and simply you just get kicked out of the meeting <laughs> right so that's the reason why you'll see a couple of them have like duplicate end records over here join before join and left now what we need to do is um we just need to know uh, what time she actually joins if i just take like joined it will show me that she came to the meeting late because joined will just show me that she joined at 4 6 right that is the earliest time as compared to 4 12 right so but that is not right because she joined before which is at 3 28 she was an early attendee which is good so in order to make sure that i have captured the correct data i need to analyze all the records all the uh, user actions right and then take in the one which is the earliest so i have done all that in these different sheets and combined everything and given the actual report in this sheet called joined so let me just show you how um, everything is captured and is being displayed okay uh, before that let me show you what I have done here as well I have a couple of columns over here which is already defining the time of the meeting okay now I have taken 340 instead of 330 because we need to capture the one uh, the ones who attended the meeting 10 minutes late right that is why I have mentioned 340 and 58 seconds here and duration of the meeting is 1 hour 30 minutes you can go ahead and change this if your meeting lasts longer or it gets over quickly you can easily change as to how long the meeting was and this is the duration i've converted into minutes just by using a simple formula all right now let's go ahead and click on this button Ta -da! it's doing its magic and it's done <laughs> right
Okay, let me just go ahead and resize these columns to show you. Yeah, so you see over here we already have the late comers. If you see, we have one late uh, comer who is Katie. So Katie has joined the meeting late at 3.58, which is obviously way after the 10 minutes, way more than that. <laughs> All right, and you can see over here the duration of the meeting attended, the percentage of meeting attended, and things like that. And you see we have some extra, uh, some new columns over here, which I have created just by using macros. So we have the left time, what time they left, what time they joined. So join time plus grace period. The so grace period is the plus 10 minutes, which is 340, which I have taken over here. So this is the, so they have joined at 330. So it means plus 10 divided by 1400, which means plus 10 minutes, yeah? So that's what is given as a join time to check out whether they are late comers or not, right? And I have used some conditional formatting over here to make sure that the person who is late, their detail comes highlighted, comes highlighted in red. Yeah, and we have some formula over here, which will take out the percentage of the, the duration of the meeting attended in minutes and here we have the percentage of meeting attended pretty great right so you actually have a nice data a nice report which will tell you who attended the meeting late even if you have like hundreds of uh, people who have joined your meeting it does not matter how many people you have just by using this nice little macro you will get that uh, report done yeah so if you want me to show you how to get this done then comment below and i will make a how-to video about this until then don't forget to like subscribe and share <laughs> this video